Okay, I'm becoming less of a lame Yesuham, so I thought I'd show you what I've found. So first of all, we've got a station on with a little bit of chirp. We'll see if we can tune it in until the CW tuning indicator comes on. Looks like he may not be strong enough to turn on the indicator. But in any case, I had the uh, help from lots of people, which was, first of all, try with the intercept point off, which is just turning off the preamp. So we will go to MFM. Another thing I learned is I can just read it. I don't have to count. So there's MFM. And there's the, the IPO on. And there is it off. And it does just seem to drop the background noise a little bit. So then we're going to go off and try the new 500 Hertz filter. So we'll go to MF. N, Nancy, and we'll try the 500. You can see that is somewhat better. And then if I go and add the DSP to that, which is on MFP, Then with a little less volume, it's even better. So thanks to all the people who said, turn off the uh, intercept point optimization or on, that was, was uh, disable the, uh, the preamp, then combine DSP with the new 500 Hertz filter. And it did turn it into kind of a CW radio. Now just for the heck of it, since it's on, let me just turn on I think I'm off by a couple of kilohertz, but we'll try the K1 next to it and see what we get. So that's on my narrowest filter. And it's got more of a hollow sound. Not a lot of difference. So I guess it says the K1's pretty good, but the uh, F2897 with all these options is a bit better. So it's kind of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.